Hey guys, welcome to the pump room. Today we're going to be making very beautiful drinks like this. Yuzu in time Southside. Ooh, stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the pump room. And today we're going to be discussing a lovely brand called Muzai. What's Muzai? Muzai. Is something we didn't even know existed until the other week and a guy called Tom got in contact with us and this brand is all based on the Tokyo cocktail green tea drinking culture I know I don't know what the hell this is we were like what the f is this Ali was like what the f is this what the, f is, this? What the f is it and then we tried it and then we were like what the f is this we have got to make a video about this so we're gonna show you what this stuff is and oh my god is it good but before we get into this, guys, let's be honest here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I mean it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We need you. Your pump room needs you. Okay, guys, so the brand we're talking about today is Muzai. Basically, Muzai is a liquid created by our, our hero, Tom, who went and lived in Tokyo for a bit of time. He didn't really understand it at first, but Tokyo had a green tea cocktail drinking culture, and he didn't get it until he went out with his friends and drank a load of green tea-based cocktails and realized when he woke up the next morning that he didn't really have a hangover. When he realized this, he thought, oh my God, we need to bottle this, we need to figure it out. So he went back to London, and for two years, he locked himself in his secret lair, his kitchen, and he scoured thousands of cocktail books to create a formula that you could bottle that wouldn't ruin the classic cocktail, but you could also drink without alcohol or with alcohol or with low ABV spirits. So the formula he landed on was organic tea, organic agave, and kombucha acids. But knows. All right, all right. Let's slow this down one hot minute. Let's go into it. Right, kombucha. Let's just call it booch. Some of us call it booch. This stuff has been around since 2021 BC. Thousands of years. This is something that you can age and create. It is what is it? Let's be honest. You're gonna Google it. Kombucha is fermented. It's a slightly alcoholic liquid. By that, it has a 0.5% ABV. It's effervescent, which means it's like a little bit fizzy. Usually use sweetened green or black tea. And the great thing about it is it has all these acids in it that promotes gut health. It also detoxifies your liver. Ooh, I think some of you need that. When it comes to the organic tea, they like to use hibiscus tea or green tea predominantly green tea. And what they do is they use quite a light green tea or hibiscus tea because they don't want it to dominate the flavor. This also has insane amounts of antioxidants in it. It's just good for you. So let's go back to like uh, your hangover thing. So most of your hangovers are caused because of dehydration and you have loads of sugar in your system. So what they've done is they use organic agave. This stuff sometimes goes from 30% to 50% less sugar. So you get like the lovely sweetness of the nectar and all that kind of stuff. And without all the, the crap that sugar gives you. So they use that and it depletes the sugar content by a, a crap ton. So take your margarita, for example. If you make it with this stuff, an organic agave, it's gonna deplete the sugar content by 30%. We do the south side, which we are doing today. We are doing a south side, ladies and gentlemen. Cuts it by 50%. That's a lot. That's a less of a hangover for you. So currently they've got three flavors. They've got the lemongrass and ginger, the hibiscus, my personal favorite, the yuzu and thyme. And also they're uh, 8 dollars on their website. So it's not bad. It's not alcoholic, but uh, it's supposed to complement your drinks. It's great. Do you want to make a cocktail next? Shake the cocktail, shake the cocktail, serve the cocktail. So we're gonna make some cocktails. We're gonna make three in total. And we're gonna start with the yuzu and thyme. We're gonna make the yuzu and thyme south side. We're gonna be using drinks on our website because they're really good and we want you to enjoy them the, the best way possible. First, we're gonna need our ingredients. We're gonna need some gin. Off the gin. Gin. Then we're gonna need our bonsai tree, basil bush. Bushy. So bushy. And the equipment we're gonna need, a jigger, one of these measury things, a shaker, yes, we're using a shaker today. And of course your mache. Cool, we're gonna start with our drink. So what we've done is we are chilling our glass. We're using a coupe, you can use a martini glass, just a straight up glass. Make sure it's chilled because a cold drink should always go in a cold glass. I've told you this almost every episode. If you do not get it by now, leave door that way or anywhere where you're watching it, there's a door somewhere. So we're gonna take our yuzu and thyme and we're gonna give it a smell. Oh my God. Very yuzu and thymey. It's really delicious. It's quite fragrant actually. So we're gonna just put hundred mils in here. Let's splash everywhere. Whoop. And then we're gonna put our gin in. 
I'm going to be using Heppel Gin. This stuff's from Northumberland. Uh, it's just, just been brought to my attention. It's really delicious, actually. Use 50 mils of this gin. Do, do, do. So if you do not have a jigger, it is two parts this and one part this, okay? So you could do like two buckets of yuzu and thyme in one bucket of gin. Maths. And once that's done, we're going to get our machete and we are going to trim our basil bush. Oh yeah, we only need five leaves, but uh, topiary in it. For sake. So we're going to use five leaves of basil. Um, basil leaves are usually a lot larger. These are tiny basil leaves, so we're just going to we're going to use like a little clump of these uh, because it's quite a, a new plant that I have sacrificed. Right, so we're just going to use this. We'll give it a whack like you would mint. Release the bitters, drop it in, and uh, that is pretty much it. We're going to add some ice and we're going to shake the crap out of this drink. Are you ready? Are you ready? Put your ice in, get the top of your tin. Get the other top of another tin. Pretend that didn't happen because it's professional. Ta-da, we're using tin on tins. These are my personal favorite kind of tins and they're really cheap to get. We're gonna talk about tins in another video in our cocktail mechanics. So if you look up here or here, it's somewhere, some, that way, that way, um, you'll be able to click on that little link and see how you shake a cocktail, babe. Oh yeah, shaking a cocktail. We take our glass, we dump the ice. We have a cold glass, then we're gonna need a strainer and our fine strainer, which is on the floor. Please ignore this bit while I get on the floor to get my strainer, which I have lost. <laughs> Ta-da! And then for our garnish, the most important thing, because you know, you don't want to send your drink out into the world with no clothes on. Which is one singular basil leaf. Place it on there. Oh, I'm getting notes of intoxication and a mild hangover in the morning. Muzai! Oh my god, that's really good. That is so good. Ali needs to try this. All right, guys, for our next drink, we're going to do a no ABV drink. This is the lemongrass and ginger spritz. Ooh, super complicated. Super easy. So, all you're going to need is some soda water fizzy water, sparkling water, and uh, and your muzai. Ooh! So it's gonna be 100 mils of this, and then you're just gonna top it up with some soda water. And then we're gonna use a lovely little mint sprig on top just to tie it all in. We're gonna start with 100 mils of the lemongrass and ginger. I'm super excited for this. So it's two parts, basically. Then we are gonna add our ice. So we're gonna fill the ice up to the top of the glass. And then we're gonna use a bottle opener for once. Really important bottle opener. Excuse me. We're gonna top it up. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give it a little stir just so it all mixes together. And just a couple more ice cubes on top, make it nice and crisp. And then we're gonna get our mint. We are using, time for it is chocolate mint, peppermint kind of stuff. So you got like the lovely dark colors in it. Give it a little slap, you cheeky bastard. Whack it into your drink. And there you have it, the lemongrass and ginger spritz. Oh, I'm really down with that special day out today. It's so hot. Christ. What are you looking at? Leave me alone, this is private. So we're gonna go into our final drink and we're gonna be using the hibiscus muzai. <sighs> love hibiscus. What we're gonna do is we are gonna use a Mecca Altus tequila white tequila and then um, you can use mezcal for this because it's got your lovely peatiness but we are going to use monkey shoulder smoky monkey this stuff is great we're going to start by chilling our glass there you go ha ha so you're going to cut your bell pepper in half look at that so you'll notice you have some seeds um we're going to fine strain this drink so you don't need to worry too much about the seeds so we're just going to cut into little sections nice and juicy once we've got our bell pepper all cut up our lovely red bell pepper we're going to get our tin and we are just going to whack it in just a couple slices you don't need to go completely crazy so you get that nice peppery flavor and all the juices from it and stuff once that's done we're going to be sticking in a hundred mils of our hibiscus i love the color of this it just looks great it's just a really lovely color once that's in, we're going to whack in 25 mils of our tequila and then 25 mils of our smoky monkey. Honestly, love this stuff. Right, you see that? It's all 
in your shaker tin. Then we're going to ice that up and we're going to give it a... Oh yeah, a shake. Remove all the f***ing basil out of the damn sink. Whack it on. And then we're going to do the whole like strainer, fine strainer thing again. Now look at that lovely red seductive colour. Now I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny knife. Look at my little knife. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to cut a little garnish. I just want like a slither. There we go. You're smoking bell pepper. Hell yeah. <laughs> Smoky, peppery, refreshing and it looks like you're drinking the blood of your enemies. So, that brings us to a close. Big thanks to Tom Shellard from Muzi Drinks. Thank you for sending us these wonderful range of liquids. We didn't know what to expect, and honestly, it has been an awesome surprise. I know you'll miss me. I might miss you. I'll see you next week. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.